Hi everyone, it's Linnea here for Ink on 3 and I'm going to create a really fast and easy Valentine's Day card today. I'm starting off with some Ink on 3 Atelier inks and I have a mix of cubes and full size pads so you can see that it really doesn't matter which one you use. In fact for this one it might be a little bit easier to use the cubes but I wanted to bring in some of the color that are not yet available in the cubes so I grabbed my larger ink pads for that. I am using Sweet Petunia Pink, Bee Sting Yellow, Marilyn Red, My Jam Purple, and Trinity Teal. And all I did was smush those five inks down onto my work surface. And I have a little dish of clean water and I'm using a paintbrush and I'm just going to freehand draw some circles. These circles don't have any fancy shading or anything. I'm just picking up some ink with some water and laying down some color. The only method to my madness is I didn't want to have two of the same color circle directly on top of or next to each other. So I'm just going through and I'm kind of varying my panels here. And as I was painting, I got the sleeve of my cardigan into my wet paint and I kind of smudged a little bit. But I'm going to show you how I fix that in a bit. Right now I'm taking a Sharpie, just a plain old fine tip Sharpie, and I'm drawing some hearts into my circles. You could do anything with this. If you didn't want to do a Valentine's Day card, this would be a great way to make some balloons if your circles were a little bit bigger and then freehand draw some strings or something. But I thought these would be cute with little hearts inside. To cover up my mistakes, I'm going to add some ink spatters to my backgrounds. That's something that I like to do anyway and that I had intended on doing, but now I just have to make sure that I strategically place some dots to cover up my smudges. So I started there by strategically placing those dots of black watercolor, and then I'm going to take my paintbrush and dip it into my black paint and do like I normally would and do some just regular freehand spatters. And you can see some of my drops are bigger than others, which I think just adds to the whimsiness of this background. This card is almost done. This is my background. I'm going to heat set that and that'll be done. All that's left is to add a sentiment. My sentiments are from LDRS Creative. I stamped them and die cut them out and they're on these little banners. And since they're so skinny, I decided to stack three right on top of each other. And that is going to finish off my card. I told you this was going to be a quick and easy card. I love this and you can customize the colors however you want. Thanks so much for watching this quick video. I'll see you later. Bye.